If you installed aftermarket or OEM tow mirrors onto your 2015 or newer Duramax diesel and immediately got a check engine light, please watch this video and see how Boost Auto Parts can fix this problem. Today we're going to show you how to install the Boost Auto Parts Ambient Air Sensor Harness and Sensor Assembly part number 1843 into your aftermarket or OEM mirrors. The kit comes equipped with the harness as well as the sensor. All parts in the kit are brand new. First thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is just open up the bag and set the sensor off to the side. Now to start you're going to want to determine where you want to put the sensor. It's important to note that this sensor does control the temperature display on your dash. So if you want it to work properly, you do need to relocate the sensor to a location that's going to properly get outside air. By far the easiest solution is to just put the pins in the connector and place the sensor in the door panel. But please note, your temperature sensor readings will be off. Now if you are going to route it somewhere under the hood or in the cab, you do want to start out by taking these two pins and starting in the cab of the truck, running them through the door jam, through the boot, and into the door. Now what we're going to be doing is taking these two pins right here and putting them into the OE connector. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is undo the white lock on the OE type connector. So just take a pick and slide up and you'll see it will just release. Please note the orientation of the connector. When we are speaking, the bottom is the side with the white lock. The top does not have the white lock. Now the white wire with the red stripe is going to go into the third location from the left, and the solid red wire is going to go into the fourth location from the left. Now the orientation of the pins going into the connector does matter. As you can see, there's a bit of a dip here. We will refer to the, this as being right side up. All of the pins are going to go in down. So with the arch down, and you can see the wire is crimped on this side. So you're going to want it so it's silver all the way across. And we're going to take the white and red wire and again facing down, insert it into the connector. And you'll just push it all the way forward. You'll feel it kind of click into place. Now if you don't get it to slide in all the way, you may just have to take a dull pick and just press down until you feel the wire clip into place. And now you're going to take the red wire and just place it in, one, in the location one to the right of the white with the red stripe. And you'll just push it all the way up until it clips into place using a pick if you need to. Now that we have the wires fully slid up, we're just going to take our finger and slide the white lock down. And that will lock the two wires completely into place. Now on the other end of the harness, you're just going to put the sensor wherever you'd like it to and clip it into the OE type connector. Then you'll just slide the gray lock forward and you're done. Now together you have successfully repinned your connector, adding the ambient air sensor circuit as well as a brand new ambient air sensor from Boost Auto Parts. After clearing your codes, your check engine light should disappear if this was the only issue causing it. P0073 should not reappear. If it is reappearing, check that you have adequate connections in this OE connector right down here. Boost Auto Parts, aftermarket, accessory, solutions.